Hi guys, A Hicken here. Uh, you can see my, well, sort of Brazilian black. Uh, <laughs> that's it after it's month. It's been uh, seven days, but people have been saying it doesn't look like a um, Brazilian black. It looks like a um, M Balfouri, which I'm really hoping it is. Because <laughs> if it is and it's a female, then she's worth a lot of money. But yeah, guys, I thought I'd just do a quick feeding video. Uh, the only problem is I haven't got many much food left. I've only got this... Uh, one uh, little cricket just in the uh, tub there, so I'm going to feed this one here. Um, got some uh, some large locusts still from last week. Going to feed my Tiapophysis, uh, Agenicolada, and my Pyrogallus. Um, can't really. F I can probably feed my Togo Starburst baboon. I can reckon that might take a large locust. She's around about four inches. Yeah, guys, so I thought I'd uh, just do a quick feeding video for you. I'm just going to put my uh, camera there so I can just pick up this cricket for you. As I said, guys, it's been about a week since uh, it malted, so it should uh, should take down this cricket fairly. It might do, it might not. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Absolutely fantastic takedown that was. Oh, that was unbelievable. But yeah, guys, if um, if, if you could leave a comment after this video, and uh, please try and tell me what species it is. It, it, as you can see, I'm putting the light on it, and it's got blue legs. Well, you know, we all know that there's the, there's the Agenia colada just there, and it's got black legs with white stripes. Well, this thing got no white stripes whatsoever. So... I reckon it does look like an embal for it to me, but uh, hopefully I'm right because I, I would prefer an embal for than a Agenia colada. But that was an amazing takedown. Got that absolutely beautiful. Uh, Got to try and get some more food if I can. It's just uh, just money's really tight at the moment, but amazing takedown. So I thought it might eat. That's that one done. Next up, guys, I'll do my uh, hygienic colada. <coughs> she always eats all the time. Take the top off. There we go, guys. Nice, guys, nice large locust there. And there's a the spider just there, I think he. Should take it down because she uh, she eats anything anyway. There we go. Crunch, crunch. Yeah, she's looking around about a good uh, six inches now. Looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, bought this from the British Tranchler Show last year. My good friend Daniel Pirocleo One. He was there with me when I bought it. Got it for thirty pound. About a three inch female. And I'm going to the British Chance Show again in May the 20th. Absolutely can't wait. It's going to be fantastic. Me and my good friend Daniel are going. And my daughter Kirsty. I'll see my good friend Rick. Rick Norenberg as well. And hopefully uh, Stephen, Trancher Addict. But that was another amazing takedown. She should love that. So I just wanted to fill out a little bit more after a month. Okay, guys. Next up is going to be my uh, Tiapophysis, an 8 inch female. And she's just come out. I think she must have. Uh, <laughs> I think she knows it's dinner time. Just get another locust for you guys. Don't want to come out. I think it now it's going to get munched. You can just see it just there, look. Just want to get the best shot as I can for you guys. Oh, another amazing takedown. Just want to get close in for you guys. 
she is absolutely massive yeah she's a good eight inches and um i've been told she'll get a lot bigger than this i think she'll get to around about probably 10 or 11 inches but three absolutely amazing takedowns and she should love that crazy how i um do a feeding video and she was waiting just by the entrance for her food so she must have knew, known it was dinner time guys another amazing takedown and I just she would just spin around and do a web as you can see okay guys that's that one done next up is my <coughs> female 7 inch P regalis I'll just put the uh, camera there so you can just get another locust <coughs> there goes another locust there guys for you Oop. she's just down there she might not she might be hungry or she might not be Just down there, you can just see the uh, locust just at the bottom. Mm, she might be interested, she might that she has webbed up a little bit, so I'm not too sure if she's going into primo. I don't think she is. But she is absolutely stunning. Beautiful colours. As you know, guys, I've got a uh, a little one inch Pyrogallus as well but the, I'm doing a little bit of a swap deal with Nick Norenberg my good friend well, I don't think she's interested but oh well never mind I will comment on this video uh, see if she eats it after oh she's just turning around she can the abdomen's looking a bit dark so oh I think she's got it I think she's just having a little, a little seat to see what it is. I'll try and get a bit further in for you guys. There we go. The abdomen's looking a bit brown, so probably she's uh, ready for a malt. No, there's the locust there. I don't think she's. Don't think she's that interested, guys. Never mind. <coughs> I'll put that there. I'll try and got a few more. I got a few more crickets here, so I'll probably feed my uh, P Metallica. I think she'll be able to take one of them down. I think fairly easy. Ah, oh, yeah, he's big enough. There's my P Metallica there. Looking absolute stunning with the blue colours. Got some little baby crickets there, so I'm just going to take one out of the box for you guys. You can just see the cricket there. I like to put the light on on my phone so you can see the colours of the P Metallica. Looking absolute stunning. I think it's going to go for it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, I've just missed it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's a nice, fairly that's a nice big meal for the uh, P Metallica. I'm hoping and praying I've got a female. Well, as you know, I've got three P Metallicas, so this is the first one. I've got one, two more that are slightly a bit smaller. Okay guys, thanks for watching.